All right, so here's the year nine work for week two, and it's on a volume and surface area. So let's look at the first question. Find the volume and surface area. So this is a cuboid, so our volume is length times width times height, which is eight times seven times 14. Make sure they're all in the same units, which they are. And because it's a calculator exam, eight times seven times 14, you get your volume is 784 cubic centimeters because it's a volume. Now surface area, there's two ways of doing the surface area. Step one is you could work out that, well, this shape has six faces. So you can work out the area of the six rectangles, add them all up, area one plus area two, all the way to area six, and you'll get your answer. Now, because this is a prism, it does have a formula. So if you call shade in what you want to call as your main area, so I'm using the top for this one, the surface area would be 2A plus PH. A is obviously the area of this, P is the perimeter of this, and our H is the height of the prism. So you can just substitute into there, and it will make it slightly quicker. So let's have a look. Two lots of the area. Well, the area of this shape is obviously going to be 8 times 7, so I'm going to type that in. The perimeter of this shape, well, 8 plus 7 is 15. Two lots of that makes the perimeter 30. And the height of our prism is 14. Now, the reason this formula works for prisms is because if you drew the net of this shape, here you've got the top, here you've got the bottom, it's two lots of A plus the perimeter times the height, and that will work for all prisms. Even this triangle one I'll quickly draw out here. This is what the net would look like. You've got two lots of A plus the perimeter times the height. All right, so now let's just type that into our calculator. Two lots of eight times seven plus 30 times 14. And our surface area will be 532 squared centimeters because it's an area. All right, find the volume. Well, this is a triangular prism. So our volume is length times width times height divided by two. You could also do volume is AH for a prism, which is the area of this times the height of the prism. And that we could have done that here as well. So our volume is going to be five times 12 times 16 divided by two. Five times 12 times 16 divided by two. So your volume is 480 cubic centimeters. And as mentioned, you could have worked out the area of your face first and then times it by 16, you would have got the same answer. So our surface area is 2A plus pH. Two lots of the area of a triangle. Well, the area of a triangle is going to be 5 times 12 divided by 2, base times height divided by 2, plus the perimeter of the triangle. 13 plus 12 is 25, plus 5 is 30. And we times it by the height of the prism, or how far the prism goes back, which is 16. So A must be the side that's the same on the front and back, and the little h is the distance between them. So it's like this prism's fallen over. We type this into our calculator. I'm going to do this bit first, because you've got 5 times 12, oops, 60, divided by 2 is 30, multiplied by 2, 60, plus 30 times 16, and our surface area is 540 squared centimetres. All right, third question. Find the volume surface area. Well, it's a cube. We're assuming technically it should have these sides on it, or it should say the word cube. Well, the volume of a cube is the length cubed, which is 4.5 cubed. And we just type that straight into our calculator. 4.5 to the power of 3. So the volume is 91.125 cubic centimetres. Now the surface area of the cube is six lots of the face because they're all the same. And the area is going to be 4.5 times 4.5 because it's a square. So I'm going to do six times 4.5 times 4.5, just the same as I wrote it down. And we have the surface area, which is 121.5 squared centimeters. All right. For our cylinder, the volume is going to be the area of the face times the height. 
Well, that's a circle. So the area of the circle is pi r squared. And then we times it by the height, h. Let's substitute. Pi is our number. R stands for the radius of the circle. So because it's 16 from there to there, that must be 8. And the height of our cylinder is 14. So we type that into our calculator. Pi times 8 squared times 14. Just exactly the same as I wrote it down. And our volume is 2814.87. Now this surface area would work the same if we use this formula. Or we could substitute it in. So two lots of the area of that. Well that's two lots of pi r squared because that's the area of a circle plus the perimeter or the perimeter of a circle is pi d or the circumference times by the height of the cylinder so all I used was 2a plus ph but instead of a I wrote area of a circle and instead of perimeter I wrote pi d let's substitute so it's 2 lots of pi times 8 squared plus pi times the diameter which is 16 times the height, which is 14. We type into our calculator. I'm going to do this bit first. So 2 times pi times 8 squared is this bit. And I'm plusing pi times 16 times 14. There we go. Our surface area is 1105.84 squared centimetres. So these formulas are on the worksheet as well, which hopefully you had with you when you were doing this. Next shape. Well, this is a prism, and the front of our prism is a parallelogram. So the volume of a prism is a h, and the area of a parallelogram is base times height. In this case, it's 2 times 1.2, and how far back the prism goes is 1.5. We simply type that into our calculator 2 times 1.2 multiplied by the 1.5, so the volume is 3.6 meters cubed. Our surface area, this is our face, is 2a plus ph. So it's two lots of this area, which we said is base times height, 2 times 1.2, plus, so the perimeter of this side, so it's 2 plus 1.3, and then double that is 6.6, that's plus 6.6 times how far back it goes. I'll explain that again. The area of the shape is pretty self-explanatory, 2 times 1.2. The perimeter of the shape, I just added up that, plus that, plus that, plus that, which came to 6.6, .6. and the height is how far back it goes in this case. I'm going to type all this in in one go, and I'll show you what I'm typing in. So it's 2 lots of 2 times 1.2, so 2a plus p, which is 6.6 .6, times the height of the prism. So I'll explain it again, 2 area plus perimeter times height. And as I said, height's the distance between the faces. There we go, 14.7. So the surface area is 14.7 meters squared. Our final is a trapezium prism. Now I'm going to do this one slightly differently to make it easier for you. So first, I'm just going to work out the area and perimeter of this trapezium. So the area of a trapezium is A plus B times the height divided by 2. And A and B are our parallel sides. So that means we've got 9 plus 15 times the height of our trapezium, which is 6, divided by 2. So 9 plus 15 multiplied by 6 divided by 2 is 72. So the area of our trapezium is 72. Now the perimeter of our trapezium is the outside, so 15 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7, which is 39 centimetres. So I'm using these separately. I haven't answered the question, I'm going to do so now using these. So the volume of a prism is A times H. A is the area of our face which is 72, and how far back it goes is 10, so the volume is 720 cubic centimetres. Our surface area is 2a plus ph. Our area of the face we've already worked out, so we don't need to do that again, so it's 2 lots of 72. 
the perimeter we've already worked out. So that's 39 times 10. We type into our calculator. Two lots of 72 plus 39 times 10. And we have our surface area is 534 squared centimetres. So sometimes when you've got prisms, you can work out the area and perimeter separately because that makes the volume and surface area much quicker to do. And you can see that this will get you all of the marks and it's a good way of showing it. It shows clearly, I've worked out the area and perimeter of the trapezium and then I worked out the volume and surface area. So make sure you use V and equals in every line of the working out so we know how it was done. So that's how you do weeks two work on volume and surface area. Please mark your own.